guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is the second part in my three part series that I am filming for National Eye Health Week, which is a week here in the UK from the 24th of September to the 30th of September, all about eye health and promoting eye health. And of course, this is National Eye Health Week, so National Eye Health Week is all about advising people to take care of their eyes. And one of the ways you can take care of your eyes is to go on down to your local opticians and to get your eyes tested if you haven't done so in the last two years. But now let's get on into the video and today I'm going to be talking all about nystagmus, which is basically where you have wobbly eyes. When I was a child, people always used to ask me, why are your eyes doing that? Or what's going on with your eyes? How are you doing that? And I would be sat there like, well, what are you talking about? And I would just forget that, oh yeah, I have nystagmus. My eyes wobble and move involuntarily of their own accord and I don't even realise they're doing it. So today I'm going to explain to you guys why my eyes wobble and shake because I still get comments occasionally asking me why my eyes wobble and you want to know? So I'm going to tell you. Now I was born with nystagmus. I have the type which is called congenital nystagmus and I have nystagmus because I also have another condition called optic nerve hyperplasia. More about that in the video above which I filmed yesterday. Nystagmus is a condition which causes your eyes to move involuntarily of their own accord. You can't control the movement and the movements are constant. Nystagmus can impair your ability to see clearly and to focus on particular objects. The way that I would describe my nystagmus eye movements is it's side to side movement and it's a very quick jerky movement and it's quite slight and I would describe it as being like the way that a flame of a candle will flicker. That is the only way I can describe it. For me, it's, it's almost like a flickering candle flame. It's quite weird, but it can also be a very slow movement, which is called pendulum nystagmus. It can be more quicker, it can move around in circles, or it can do a combination of all three, up and down, side to side, and around and around. Each person is different. The condition can either be present at birth, like myself, which is known as congenital nystagmus, and it's usually because you have another eye condition, or it can be something that you acquire later on in life through an injury or something else like that. People who are born with nystagmus often have another eye condition. So the way that I like to think about it is I have my main dish of optic nerve hyperplasia and then I have a little side order of nystagmus just because, you know, nature is that extra. The way that I would describe what it's like to look through your eyes with nystagmus is it's kind of like looking through the world through a camera that can't focus properly so it's a camera that has really bad autofocus and it doesn't always focus on the object that you intended it to focus on or it can take a longer period of time to focus on that said object now of course it's weird to try and describe it just on its own because i have optic nerve hyperplasia as well so nystagmus is the part of my condition which affects my ability to focus on objects and to read things clearly with my nystagmus i tend to find it very difficult to focus on things that are too far away from me or that are too small and the reason for that is because my eyes are constantly flickering and moving i can't keep them still for long enough to be able to focus on a said object the movements of my nystagmus can also worsen if i'm tired if i'm experiencing stress if i'm sick or if I'm having low blood sugar, because I also have hypoglycemia. I also find that the distance away that I am from an object will determine how well I can see it, which is why I also use visual aids to help me to see objects clearly, like magnifiers, smartphone apps, and also a monocular as well, which is basically something that enables you to be able to see things that are a longer distance away from you. So another trait about having nystagmus is that you often find that you have to tilt your head or move it at a certain angle to be able to see something clearly, to be able to steady your eyes for long enough for you to be able to focus. This is what is known as the null point. Everybody is different, but for me, you may have noticed if you've been following me for quite a while that when I'm trying to read something or to look at something, I tilt my head to the left. And this is because I'm trying to stabilize my eye movements for long enough so that I'm able to focus. I tilt my head and it enables me to keep my eye steady and to pull it on something and to focus it on the object so that my eye muscles will pull taut so I can see the object clearly. And I've been doing this ever since I was a child and it's something that I won't ever be able to stop doing because it's the only thing that enables me to be able to read and to see things clearly. Sometimes I do get odd looks when I'm looking at something in a particular way, if I'm bending my head at a weird angle to try and read something, especially if I'm at work or if I was at school. But to be honest, 
it's helping me to see so I really don't care what people think because it's the only thing that's going to enable me to see. Nystagmus can also affect your balance and I'll definitely attest to that because there have been plenty of occasions where I've not had any balance whatsoever so that is definitely a true fact of having nystagmus it can affect your balance and I'm living proof of that. Living with nystagmus I don't really notice when my eyes are moving I don't really feel it anymore I don't really notice it I've grown so accustomed to it and I've lived with it all my life that I'm used to the fact that my eyes don't focus properly and I've developed ways of being able to get around that so it's not something that I particularly notice anymore but people who meet me for the first time or who are up close to me and can see my eyes moving are often a bit baffled by the fact that my eyes move and shake so much. But in those situations, all I do is that I explain my condition and that I have a difficulty focusing and that I have nystagmus. Nystagmus itself isn't a painful or an uncomfortable eye condition to live with, but it does cause me to get fatigued and achy eyes and it also causes me to get headaches from time to time. The reason for this is because my eye that's working, that's another thing, I only have one eye that I can see out of, because my eye is having to overexert itself so much to be able to focus on an object because of my nystagmus, I get very achy eyes, I can also get a headache as well. And what I do when I feel like I'm getting a headache or my eyes are starting to ache, I take myself away from the task at hand. Whatever I might be trying to look at that's causing me to get fatigued eyes, I just stop doing that for a time. I take some time to just chill out with an audio book and I put on an eye mask and just try and recuperate and let my eyes relax and to really try and de-stress myself and get rid of some of the tension that I'm feeling. Something that I like to use when I'm experiencing any eye pain or eye aches or headaches due to my nystagmus is this. This is a space mask. It's a self-heating mask. It's for a one-time use. You take it out of the packet, place it on your eyes and it will heat up and you can use it for 20 minutes and it really, really does work. It literally makes my eyes feel so relaxed. It's like having a a warm electric blanket on your eyes it's just so satisfying they are amazing they also can help you sleep as well and to relax i don't use these all the time i keep them for when i'm really having major eye pain but when i do use them they are amazing hashtag not sponsored having headaches and eye pain due to nystagmus was partly the reason why i also had extra time during my exams at school and it was also the reason why i had extra time when i was at university because it would enable me to spend longer reading a document to be able to rest my eyes if i was getting fatigued and it's also the reason why i walk around with a massive sherlock holmes look-alike magnifying glass when I'm at work. Elementary, my dear subscribers. Elementary. Nystagmus can be aided by using visual aids like monoculars, magnifying glasses, assistive technology. Lots of different things can help you to focus on things and to be able to see more clearly. Lots of things can be implemented to help you to focus on things, to see things more up close and to adapt to your remaining vision to help you to be able to do tasks that you need to do. What I would suggest that you do is if you have any concerns having nystagmus, maybe if you're a parent to a young child with nystagmus, see lots of different visual aids and things that you can acquire having the condition and see what works for you. Everybody with nystagmus is different and no person's needs are exactly the same. If you do notice that you or someone that you know has nystagmus, if you do notice that their eyes shake involuntarily without them knowing, then it might be worth getting your eyes checked up because nystagmus can be a telltale sign of another underlying eye condition or also an injury that can cause you to have nystagmus. So like I said at the beginning, if you haven't had your eyes checked out recently in the last two years, go on down to your local opticians and get your eyes tested just to be sure. So that concludes this video today. I really hope you enjoyed it and you enjoyed learning more about nystagmus. If you did enjoy it, please give this video a thumbs up because thumbs up do really help me a lot. Also be sure to subscribe to my channel as well if you're new. And tomorrow I'll be uploading my third and final video for National Eye Health Week where I'm going to be answering a very commonly asked question which is why I don't wear glasses. So stay tuned for that one and I will see you back here tomorrow. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.